Hey, Nicole here with On The Moment Booth. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you everything that I possibly can about using Canva for your photo booth business. I use it for everything from customized templates to social media graphics to tap to start screens. Um, today I'll be focusing on actually creating one for an event that I need it for, which is a Christmas party. We'll work on it together and so we'll create a Christmas template that you could use for maybe an upcoming Christmas party. So I'm excited to work on that together with you today. Let's get started. Okay, first things first, um, we are going to kind of gather up our template sizes that we need for Canva and for our designs. So we're going to need a couple of things. I want to show you today a sample of a four by six photo template, a two by six photo template, um, the live gallery, and then tap to start screen. And so I wanna try and work on all of those options today for you. And the very first place we're gonna to start to kind of find that information um, is going to be on the support site. So go to support.photowithsupplyco.com and then you're gonna click on Salsa app. You're gonna click on Salsa. And then you're gonna click on Photo Template Editor. Um, on the like topics and guides section. And then you're gonna scroll down. Um, this, by the way, gives all of the information that I'm kind of even sharing with you today. It's all in here as well, if you wanna go through there. Um, they provide a ton of resources as well. But under background and overlay sizes and dimensions, you're going to see all of the sizes that we need for Canva. So I'm looking here at the top two. So I'm looking at two by six and four by six. So 600 by 1800 and then 1800 by 1200. So now that I have that information, I'm gonna go back into Canva. Like I said before, I do have the Canva Pro account. This gives you quite a bit more resources as far as like elements that you can use, resizing of your um, files. I, I highly recommend Pro if you can afford it. If you can't, you can totally use it as, a, as the free option, but I did wanna preface that. I'm gonna try and like alert you to things that are only available for Pro. So far, um, it looks like everything's available to you for in the free account as well. So we'll just get started. Kind of what I recommend for you, as you're getting started um, and as you move forward and start to book more events and start designing more things, um, organization is going to be really important. And so one of the things that I started to do that has really helped me be um, more productive and more efficient in my design process is creating projects and creating folders. And so what I did here under the projects tab, I created, um, you can create a design or create a folder and I titled it event. Uh, in this folder, I created all of the sizes that I'm going to design and customize. So I, as you'll see, I created a four by six template, a two by six template, a live gallery, and a tap to start. These are all of the elements that I'm going to design specifically for, for let's just say my client. Obviously I'm not gonna do both a four by six and a two by six, but I wanted to have those options there for you to view. Um, so you'll see here that the four by six is customized to the sizing that we saw on that previous, on the support site, same by two by six. Live gallery is also available on the support site. It was just in a different section. And so those are the dimensions. And these are the dimensions for the tap to start screen. Now what I'm gonna do is um, I want to kind of leave these here. This is my personal preference. And I'm going to click and I'm gonna say make a copy. And what I do like to do is I like to start with creating my print um, template first. Even for my digital clients, I still kind of create this because they wanna still have that photo booth experience of several photos um, on one image. Um, so you can literally create an entire photo booth experience just minus the print part. Um, and I really like to do that. My clients really appreciate being able to have like a custom design, even if it's a digital photo booth experience. So we have a copy of four by six. So let's go ahead and click in that. It is the correct dimensions as you can see. And so here is our four by six template. Now, the second part of this, I want to make sure that whatever design element I put on my print template 
is not going to be covered by the photo. And so the best way to do that is you're gonna go back into um, the app, the Salsa app, and you're gonna go to um, here on the left, you're gonna see um, all events, academy, devices, marketing materials. We're gonna click on marketing materials. And then you're gonna click on photo templates. Photo templates is going to take you to another page where you'll see all of these photos, or um, all of these folders. All of these folders have already made designs that you can view and download in PSD files. Um, but what we're looking for, or what I'm looking for right now, is our blank template folder. And this blank template folder, let's click on it, and I'm gonna show you something that is super cool and super helpful. What you see here is the four by six template that I, I typically use for my clients, but what's available in, in this entire folder is the exact dimensions of the square of where the photo is going to be, which is going to be super helpful. So this is a design template that I'm gonna use and I'm gonna show you today. So I'm going to be paying attention to the box sizes. So this says, 542 by 723. So now I'm gonna go back into Canva and create boxes this size. So 542 by 723. So let's go back into Canva. This is my copy, copy of four by six. So I'm going to go into here, into elements and type in, I have a square right here, but you can always type in square. Click and then put that in there. I'm gonna just change it to, let's just do like a gray color. So now I'm going to change it into those dimensions. So now I'm gonna stretch this out to five, four, two. Let's do seven, two, three, seven. Five, four, two, seven, two, three. Perfect, so now I have my square. This is the size of my image on my photo. And as you can remember here, there are three boxes. So we need to duplicate this three times. And now I'm going to wanna make sure that they are all evenly distributed here. This looks actually pretty good, hold on. So, um, you'll see here with the red, it's telling me that it is 31, whatever it is, 31 and 31, so that means it's evenly spaced, so this is where I wanna leave it. Um, I do like to go back and reference and make sure it looks similar as far as like the widths up here. So let's look at that. That looks pretty, pretty good, pretty similar. Um, and that's really what's important is similar. Obviously, there's going to be some difference when we trans when we upload it into the Salsa app, but we'll get there once we get there. Okay, now that I know where my photos are going to be, I can go into the design and let's let's play around and see what we can come up with. So for this, I want to do Christmas. Now, um, something to keep in mind when, I'm, when you're designing a template is what backdrop you're going to be using. Um, you could even take it a step further and insert your backdrop into these photos so you can kind of design around the color or theme of it. Um, I know that I'm going to be using a silver backdrop for my Christmas party. And so I want to kind of create a design around that, around that. So I think I want to do, let's just go full send on Christmas colors. Like I'm thinking green and red. So what I like to do is I like to start by going into templates and do, let's just type in Christmas. Here's some really great options. And this is going to help us kind of get, get a start, get a feel. Um, and so another thing, what I like to do is um, I like to kind of give myself an extra page to kind of play around because as soon as I click something, it's going to take over my whole design and I don't want to mess up my square. So here is that. Oh, this already has elements into it. Oh, this is actually really pretty. So the only thing I can think of is that you won't see much of these ornaments, but you know what? Let's I like this font. This is a great kind of like starting 
spot. I like the red, I like the silver, the white. Let, I'm gonna save this and kind of keep adding a page so I can browse quickly through and see if I see anything else that might work. This is cute here. When I'm looking, I'm kind of trying to think of um, designs that have little elements. Oh, this is pretty, very Christmassy. But see, even for this, for example, um, it's gonna be taken up a lot. I actually don't love this. I don't love the font, so let's get rid of that. Um, this is really cute, super simple. I love this font though. And you can customize the colors to match the branding. Love that. And these are all just individual little things. Let's just keep that as an option. And let's find one more. I kind of like the idea of white and I like those fonts. Hold on, let's just take a quick look. Okay. I like that font. So these are pretty, these are really pretty. Okay, so this looks like that doesn't move. Okay, all right, all right, let's not move ahead. All right, so now I kind of have three little options um, and I do like to give my clients options. So if they don't give me a very specific color, um, photo or flyer or invite or anything like that, um, I'm kind of just gonna wing it and share with them some options and allow them to kind of pick and choose. So for this one, I don't have a specific direction or instructions. So. Um, it's kind of great that I have three dif really different kind of options. Um, so from here, let's see, this is movable. Okay, so that's an overlay. I'm just kind of playing around with the image to see what is happening and see what we can do. Okay, so that's an overlay there and that's an overlay here. Very interesting. Okay, so this, let's see what happens. Let's copy this and paste. Okay, that's not bad. You definitely don't see the ornaments here at the bottom. So what we can do is if you double click on the image, you can move it up and down. So I wanna kind of play around with the location of this and see if that makes a difference at all. I like the snow here showing on the ground. I actually prefer this right here. So I'm glad I moved this down a little bit. Um, even though I know it takes away, we were not gonna see any of those little ornaments anyways. What we can do after the fact is um, kind of overlay some ornaments on top of it if we wanted to. So I like this idea. Let's go with that. Um, and you know what? Let's go ahead and even copy this, this font, this text. Um, so this is an image, it's not a font necessarily. So that's something to keep in mind. So what I'll wanna do is maybe find a similar one now that I now that I know that I kind of like the font as an option, what I'm gonna wanna do is find a similar font just in case the client doesn't want Merry Christmas and maybe Happy Holidays instead. Um, I wanna offer that as an option for them. If I just did this, then I really wouldn't have a way to kind of copy the font because I don't know what font this is specifically. It's an image. Um, Something to keep in mind. So let's take this hat though. That's really cute. Love that. I just copied and pasted that. And let's copy this too. Happy New Year. Um, what we could always do is if we know like our client's name, for example, we can always say like, we could always put the company name or something there. Um, but this is cute so far, right? Okay, so let's say we wanted to add something fun. We wanted to add some ornaments on top. Um, and this is something that we would do. Let's see ornaments.
Okay, so see how this is pro? So unfortunately, if you don't have a pro account, you wouldn't be able to use this. Um, so let's see, I'm just gonna, I really like that, hold on. I wanna, I just wanna see what that looks like. All right, so if I used this, the concern would be that you wouldn't see it. Hold on, what if I did that? Kind of even with the snow there. Kind of doesn't blend in very well though. So something else interesting with um, with Canva is that it has magic recommendations. So it bases, it provides you like more options based on what you click. So I click that, so it says magic recommendations. Let's just see what that is. Oh, pretty. It's giving me all these like snowy options because it's recognizing that it was a snow kind of white image or it's this, this guy's um, photos. So let's see what happens if I do this. Also very pretty. And what you can do here too is I'll show you a trick. If you go up to here to flip, flip horizontal, it's going to flip it the other direction. So if we wanted to like put it this way, we could. And just kind of put that right here. It's a little too big, honestly. I don't think that we're gonna use this at all but this is an option for an overlay let me see let's see if we can do snow um to kind of go along the bottom here i could literally spend hours creating because it's i just enjoy it so much it's such a fun um process but i don't want to take up too much time oh look at it look what we found Okay, hold on, let's see here. Why is that such a different snow color? Hold on, zooming in. I mean, that doesn't look too bad right there, but this does not match. So let's see again if there's anything here that we could use. Oh, look, here's another. I like that one actually. Okay. It's like too many colors though, but I do like this more than I like the blue. So I'm gonna get rid of this. And then I might duplicate this, take it over here, flip it. Let's see here. Oh, I like that. So now at least, um, Kind of blends in a little more. I love how the snow looks real. Um, it'll go over just the corner of the photo. This I might make smaller just so it's not like taking up too much of each photo. And then this, let's go like there. See if there's any other options. It's a little too matchy matchy. Hold on, this one's better. Let's get rid of this. Oh, I like this so much better. Okay, let's do this. Is this too much ornaments? You know what? Let's, okay. I'm just making an executive decision. I took out the ones here because we have the red ornaments in the back. So this can just kind of look like a part of this scene um, that the ornaments are just kind of in the front. So let me, let's do, let's type in red ornament. See if I can get a different kind and let's go to graphics. A different kind of ornament so it's not so matchy 
Okay, it's maybe not liking red ornament. Let's just try ornament. Christmas ornament. Let's try photo. Okay. Okay, the only problem is that this is pink snow and it has a background. But I'm going to take this opportunity to show you something cool. Um, we could take this image, go to edit image, and then there's a feature in Pro called, there's a feature in Pro called background remover. I'm going to show you what that looks like. So I'm going to click on this. And it's going to remove the background of this image. And I'm hoping it removes the white at the top. We'll see. It takes a little couple of seconds. But this is such a great, it's such a great alternative and actually works fairly well. Um, so it did a pretty good job. It missed only this section here. So, oh, but it also took out the snow. Interesting. So this is not gonna work for me for this image. Um, I think the red tinsel's too much. I, I wanna try and find an ornament like that. But what I can show you is um, another part of this is you can go into restore. Um, and then you can paint back what you want um, on then undo. And then, um, well, if you undo it, it undoes the whole thing. But that's just to show you, you can restore and you can, um, restore the background or edit, remove more of the background. Um, so that's a cool little feature. Um, love that. Let's see. Hey, this is great. It's in black. Oh no, perfect. I uh, love this. So let's do this in this corner. Oh, love it. Okay. Fan. Uh, okay. Wait. Mm, it's too big. Okay. Zoom in a little, check it out. Oh, I love it. Blends in pretty well on this corner. It's not taking up too much of my photo. Um, this size looks great. I might try and see if I can, yeah, a little bit more of that corner. I think that's cute. And now I created a little customized section. So let's now go into um, our fonts. And so what we can do is, go here to font um, and we want to try, let's try like a cursive, cursive one, um, apricots might work. If I like this font, like what I can do is I'm just going to click and duplicate this so that I have like font to play with to kind of test. And then let's go into here, cursive, let's try apricots. So what I'm gonna do is um, text box, text, add a subheading, cause that's gonna be nice and lowercase for me. Let's make this, you know, 50, just so we can see it well. And then let's do, Merry Christmas. Just so I can see um, how close I can get to this font. So let's go apricots. It's pretty close. It's not as cursive-y, so I like this. Let's just copy this, keep that as an option. Um, and then let's change, let's do some more, some more searching. This is super cute too, very Christmassy and cursive-y. Okay, so, so far, so far, I think I like these two options. Uh, I think I like this the best. I think it looks the most like this. Um, 
and still is like swirly twirly. Okay, so another thing we can do is you see this font color. Um, we have it right there. So what I can do is I can click on this if I really wanna keep that font color and it's already picking up the colors in the document and it's right there. So I'm gonna click on that. And now I have a perfectly matched font. So let's try and copy this exactly, right? So we can see that it's on two lines. Um, you can always press enter and have it go on the next line. Um, and then what you can do is if you want it to be close like this, um, you can go into here, um, line spacing and reduce or extend. Um, let's see, let's do that. Nice and tight. And then make it obviously as big as you want it to be. All right, so let's erase this now because we don't need it anymore. And we've got our own font here that we can customize and change however we want. Some really other cool features that I love to use with our fonts is going to effects. And you can add shadows. Um, let's try, see what black does. And I don't like that. Let's see white, kind of makes it pop a little bit. Um, you could lift. I like shadow a bit better though. Make it a little pop a little bit. Okay, so there we have Merry Christmas. Um, let's do a little smaller. I don't like it going over the leaves as much. All right, so, and then let's get it centered. It's on my center line here. Let's get this hat where we want it to be. Um, and I can always even make this larger itself on its own. If I want this hat to be here. There you go. Cute, okay. So now if I wanted this to kind of stick together, what I could do is kind of click down and drag across so that it highlights both of these. And then I could click group. That way um, this stays together no matter where I go on the page. So here we go. And there we have our Merry Christmas kind of template. Now, if I wanted to make a Happy Holidays one and I wanted to kind of keep all of the design elements just as they are, I'm gonna to wanna to just copy this. So I'm going to go here and I'm gonna click up here. It says duplicate page, click that. And now I can just edit this text to be um, Happy Holidays. And then if I want holidays to be bigger, I can change that. Let's see. And then obviously I'm gonna to wanna to change the lining, line spacing to kind of allow for a little bit more space. I don't really like how that looks. So what you can also do is take this out and put it on a separate line entirely. Oh goodness, okay. So there's happy, and then I'm going to, I'm gonna to need to ungroup this. Let's go to ungroup, and then let's duplicate that, and then type in holidays, and make this larger. And obviously like play around with the positioning where you want it. Um, it's, ha it's There's too much happy happening here. So let's take away, I don't want this there anymore. So that'll give us a little bit more space. Um, and I honestly think I wanna make this a little bigger so it kind of like sits there better. I'm not sure I'm liking this hat. I think I wanna kind of tilt the hat. There we go, that's cute. All right, so there is our print template. Um, now that we've designed that and we like that, um, I'm gonna show you what to do next. Before we download this and upload this into our Salsa app, 
what we're gonna need to do is I'm going to, what I would do in this process would be send this file to my client, see if they like it, if they wanna make any changes, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. If they love it as is, and then I can move into the next process, which is uploading it into the Salsa app so that it's ready to go in my for my event. Um, so what I wanna do is let me, label this as the final and then I actually want to copy this duplicate this because now I'm going to have to separate my layers um, I don't want to download the entire file as is and upload it because when you upload the template you have to separate your overlay from your background so my background is all of this here right um, this is part of my background but these elements that are going to be overlaying on top of my photo are not part of my background, so I want to separate those. So because I have this as final, um, and that's my final image that I want it to look like, I want to take away my um, overlay here. So I'm going to erase that. And so now it's only my background, and I'm even going to erase my squares. Okay. Now I can go and download. I'm going to change this so that I'm aware of what I'm doing. This is my background, final background. Okay. And then what I can also do is duplicate the final one more time. And then I'm going to erase. And this is going to, let's just do final, um, let's do overlay. Final overlay. I'm going to erase literally everything else, everything else on this entire page. Everything's gone except for my two things that I'm going to have as the overlay. Okay. So now let's download our background. So download, make sure it's PNG. Um, and let's do our only download our final. So nope, not just kidding. We're not we're gonna only download the final background. So let's do that, click download. That's downloading, so now we're gonna go into the Salsa app and upload it into our event. So we're gonna go into all events. Let's create a new event. Let's do Christmas sample for this specific situation. Configure event. I'm going to go into capture settings, photo selected. I'm going to click edit, create new template. And then I'm going to go into template library to find the exact um, specifications for the one that I created, which was the portrait photos um, on the four by six. So click on template library. Now I'm going to go and find um, the one that I modeled my that I modeled my template after, which was this one. So we're gonna click on that. And then here, um, if you, basically if you didn't wanna create, custom create an entire um, Canva template, you can always go through all of these and kind of pick and choose which one you like. So here's a Christmas one, here's a Christmas one. These are all really great Christmas options if you didn't um, wanna create your own. So, oh, they have a lot, this is really pretty. Really cute Christmas options. Okay, so we're gonna click a blank one right here. Click that, and then we're gonna click this plus sign. And we have several options here, select background, overlay, art asset. We're gonna do background first, then we're gonna come back and do overlay, but let's not skip ahead of ourselves. So select background. Um, it's telling you to make sure that it's this specification, which it is. We're gonna do select background. It's gonna pull up my files, upload file, and then I'm gonna find my download. So here it is, here's my background. So let's open that. Gonna click on it and then it's gonna show up here. So what I, what I wanna make sure of is that my text isn't overlapping on the photo. That looks fine. Um, this looks great. So I'm gonna click save and exit. Now I'm gonna go in, back in to my um, template. Now I wanna download my overlay. So I'm gonna make sure I'm only selecting my overlay. So page three, final overlay, download. Oh wait, before I download, I'm 
going to select page three overlay and then I'm going to select transparent background because I only want those two little images to show up. I don't want my background. I already have a background. I only want the two little images. So I'm gonna select that, select download. It's gonna download that, go back into my event, back into photo, edit, um, edit current template. And then I'm gonna click plus, select overlay. And then again, this is telling you 1800 tall transparent, which is what we did. So I'm gonna click select overlay, upload file, and then I'm gonna click on my image that I just did. See, click on that and there it goes. So now when I go, um, whenever the, I click save and exit, that's gonna be my photo. So if you wanted to kind of see what it looks like um, in real, real time, we can go to our event settings, event proposals. Let's turn that on so we can kind of get a, an idea of what that's gonna look like on our print. And there it is. So the guest, the photo's gonna be there and then this kind of ornament is going to lay just nice and sweet on top. Um, and I think that's such a, it's a great template. Okay, so from this point, we have our print or our digital template ready to go. What I always like to, this, the reason why I start with the template is because once I get the approval from a client of, oh, they really love this font, they really love the, this design, they really love these colors, I can take this and copy it into my tap to start screen um, and kind of like play around. So now that I have this, let's go back into our main event folder. So here's that template we made, right? We can even edit this into final print template um, four by six so we know and then let's go ahead and make our tap to start screen so I'm gonna duplicate this so make a copy um, and then here's our copy so let's do um, Christmas tap to start just so we're aware of what we're doing okay Here it is. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into my um, my template and then let's kind of copy some of this element. So I'm just gonna copy this entire image, command copy on my Mac, and then paste. Oh, look at that, perfectly pasted. It doesn't always happen like that. Sometimes you kind of have to stretch the image, but it went ahead and did it for me, which is very nice and kind of it. Okay. So there's our little ornaments in there that looks actually really good. Those are all hidden by our image, if you can remember. Um, I love like this bouquet of the snowflakes. Um, this is where you can kind of get really creative if you want. You can add, um, let's see if we can add some snow, some real time snow. So let's go into elements and then let's type in snow. Here's a great one. Um, you can always go into videos. That's a little busy, I think, for what we're doing here. I think I liked this option the best. Um, so we can kind of make it, you know, big as small as we want. Um, that kind of looks good. And you can even, um, you can even like change the opacity if you wanted to. Um, you can go into transparency and change how bright and strong you want it to kind of look. I like that. Okay, so now we have some movement, we have some action. This is really going to be a fun template. So let's go back and get our text. Copy. Paste. So now we want to put that in the center. Make it a little bit bigger, more attractive, more exciting. Fantastic. And then if we wanted to kind of animate this, you can click on um, animate. And then we have all of these options for our um, actual text. So let's do animate. So what I like to do is the writing one. So typewriter, ascend, shift, merge, block, Burst is really fun. Bounce is cute. 
I think right now I'm either burst, I think bounce, I like bounce. So let's do happy and then holidays bounce. So they both are kind of bouncing in. You know what, I think we should go without the hat. Let's move this up a little bit. Maybe let's say, let's create a button that says tap to start. Um, so I'm pretty happy with this. And let's do something fun. Let's do text, add a text box. We definitely don't want this font again. Um, let's just try. Let's try like, is there green on here? Let's do like a hunter green. There we go, it's matching that. Okay. Let's do, I think I do want an outline of sorts. Um, sparkle, let's do sparkle rectangle. We want it to kind of go around the top to start. Maybe this one would be nice. A little simpler. Let's get this back on the same line. I like that. A little simpler. Um, maybe let's add a shadow here. Make that text a little bit brighter. And then let's have this um, also be animated. Um, there we go. Very cute, very attractive. Let's, um, let's download this baby. So this is 5.7 seconds, sometimes um, if you're, especially if you're doing an animated screen, um, there's only so much you can d upload into the Salsa app. So let's just try. I'm just not gonna touch it and see what happens. So share, download. It's gonna download as an MP4 video. Sometimes this takes a little bit of time. All right, while I'm waiting for that, I'm gonna go into the app. I'm gonna go into event interface, tap to start screen, edit. Upload file, there it is. Let's see if it works. Open, it's working. All right, so then I'm gonna click on it and then there it is. And then what I'll do is for the background screen, um, I actually will go back in to this file and I'll just create a duplicate and I will eliminate any of the like moving parts. Um, I don't like to have too much movement happening on that screen. I want, you know, cause that, that's gonna be the screen that people will either put their phone number in. I don't want it to be too distracting. So I'm just gonna keep this as um, just an image. I'm just gonna download it as a PNG and only the second page. Download and edit background screen, upload it. Okay, so it's saying the maximum upload size is five MPs. So for some reason, it's not liking my print size. So what I can do, it's probably because it's thinking that it's um, animated not so what I'll do is I'll do download um, PNG only the second page and then compress my file go back in upload file and then I think this is right here There's that. Okay, so now if we wanted to kind of see what it will look like in real time, 
Let's continue the process by doing the LED ring. I think I want to go with the whites to kind of match, oops, to kind of match my white Christmas theme. And then let's go into event proposals and preview the proposal. And then we'll get to see the booth kind of in action with what it's going to look like. There it is. I think it looks so pretty. Okay. So we have our tap to start screen. We have our background screen. We have our print template, as you can see here. Um, now all we have to do is our live, if we're having a live gallery, um, we'll create that customized one next. So let's go back into event. Um, and then let's go into our live gallery, 1600 by 800. And then again, we're gonna make a copy and then we're going to live gallery, you know, Christmas live gallery. Okay, let's go back in here. And what I wanna do is I wanna copy this, right? Um, uh, I'll go back into my print actually, cause I don't wanna copy the animation. So there it is. Honestly, I love that. <laughs> I'm not even gonna change it at all. If I wanted to adjust it, you know, I could maybe put it down like this. Um, let's do that, okay? I'm gonna share, download, download. Um, and then I'm gonna go into here, live gallery, and then um, featured image is what I'm looking for. So there's edit, upload my file, there's my file. And then let's look at our gallery. And that's what it's gonna look like. Very, very pretty, very simple. Um, so now I have all of our elements designed and ready to go. So what I'll do is actually, once I have this designed, I'm gonna go into my event proposals and I'm going to customize um, these options. So you can even customize the backdrop if you wanted to. Let's add my backdrop. You can use from PB, um, from their selection, or you can upload um, your files, um, backdrop portraits if you, if you so desire. Anyway, so you can go through here and customize all of these things if you want to, and then you can send this entire proof to your client um, to kind of show them exactly what they're receiving. And, um, yeah, so I really love this. The great thing about having um, all of this in a folder is since we made copies, we can create a folder and put all of those files into one folder so that it's all in one specific spot. You don't have to go searching through all of your Canva files, find those templates. Another great thing is that you don't have to go searching through the website to find the measurements each and every time. It's already there, so you can efficiently and effectively create more as you go along. Of course, you can take as much or as little time as you want on creating these customized templates for your clients. You can take it a hundred step further and actually put people in your squares of your images. You can actually put your backdrop image there so the client can get a full view of exactly what their print will look like. Um, you can do that same thing for the two by six picture and just format it specifically for the two by six size. Um, there is an endless amount of possibilities and ways that you can kind of um, incorporate Canva in your design and um, creating a really unique and exceptional customer service experience. Um, I hope that was helpful. I hope that you're inspired to try new things. I hope that if you created this exact template that your client loves it and that you're absolutely able to um, create it and make it unique and make it your own. Um, please sound off in the comments. Let me know if you want any more specific Canva instructional videos. Um, I love making this stuff. This is such a fun part of the process. Love to hear your thoughts and comments. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, please press the like button, share it with a friend. And I can't wait to connect with you and kind of see your ideas too. So let me know um, how you use this. And I'll see you guys on the next video.